Hey, it's Renegode here, and today I want to showcase where I have a simple moving image view or sprite. And while we are moving, we are triggering a moving animation. Which in this case is just very simple. As you can see, we are simply just jumping between two different pictures. One of a black running man and one of a red. Just to clearly showcase that I am swapping between two sprites. And in my last video, which will be linked up here or somewhere in the description, I showcased how we can move the sprite around using WASD. And today I then added a very simple running animation, which is then added into that project models, where in last video I showcased how we keep track of which button is pressed. We then run an animation timer, which then checks which button is pressed at the second of the game and then move in that direction. We now also have a running animation which has then been added. So whenever a key is pressed, instead of just moving in the direction, I also start my running animation. And whenever the button is no longer pressed, I stop my running animation. And how my running animation is set up is that we simply have two images inside my resource folder on the sprites I have my runner one which is just this black running man and my runner two which is the reddish one i then inside my running animation class i created a separate class to kind of separate the logic I have a timeline which is set to run every 0 0.5 seconds and while it's running we then have an external number where we simply check if we add number one, change to image two, and how we access the images is simply doing. We have this helper method called get file, where we simply just get a file using get class that get resources and the file name, and then the full path to this file. And because we're doing it this way, it actually just runs locally, and we would have some problems when we try to export. But I'm actually just doing this to showcase the general idea of how we do this so we access an image inside a resource folder and we then simply this is just a simple way of checking if we add image one change to image two or if we add image two change to image one and by doing this it simply just changes between one and two as we just saw so while i am moving we are animating between the two pictures in this case it's the same every direction so just pretty simple but we then simply just have the timeline going through the pictures we then have our start animation stop animation which is then called which just starts or stops the timeline and then very simply we just have a constructor where when this running animation is created it takes in runner which is the image view which is then used by the running animation and we just set a cycle count for the running animation to be infinite so as long as it's playing just run. So that is the basic concept of how I would add animation to some kind of movable object in a basic JavaFX game. Simply have some kind of setup where we can then check as long as we're running, start an animation, and we stop running, stop the animation, and the animation is just very simply just accessing some image files inside resources and then change between them. In this case, it's quite simple because we only have two images, but Maybe if we had multiple images, we can do some kind of more proper setup, or we could do some kind of randomization between some images if we wanted some kind of more random, depending on what we want to do. But this is the basic concept of what I want to showcase. And I will, of course, leave a link to the basic code. I will probably, in this case, leave a link to the movement controller, which handles the movements, and a link to my running animation. And doing this, we can have a very simple setup where we just have a scene, have an image view. We create this movement controller and we simply just make our image view runnable on the scene. In this case, just build in the running animation into the movement controller. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.